color riche. What is my hand doing? I don't even know because I've swatched two here. So we have a claw situation. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I have got a total hodgepodge here. Um, I've got like some things that I was loving with like the holidays because I haven't done a Friday favorites in a couple weeks. So I've got some holiday type favorites. I've got some drugstore favorites because there's a ton of new things in the drugstore. So I've been trying out a bunch and there's gonna be a lot of drugstore videos still coming. So just watch for those. So some of these things I haven't mentioned to you yet. So they will be new to you, but you will see also in future videos. So got some of that too and just some random things. So a lot of different things in this favorite, so let's get into it. So on my nails for New Year's, I wore this polish, and this is such a pretty glitter polish. This is OPI's Celestial, and it is just the most beautiful, kind of like champagne, taupey, sort of a glittery situation, but it's got like rainbow glitter in it too, so it's mostly kind of like taupey, mostly. But then it has some of that like multi-dimensional colored glitter in it. It's just gorgeous. It built up really nicely. Um, it does feel pretty gritty on the nails, but I mean, most glitters do. So I love this. It's so, so pretty. Around the holidays, I was really wanting some glitter on my eyes. So I always grab from my eye candy glitters. I think these are awesome. And I like that they don't have any kind of warning about like this can't be used around the immediate eye area. I know there are kind of like different rules like for each country and whatnot, but I'm just kind of nervous and I would rather go with the ones that don't say any kind of a warning because I wear contacts and have kind of sensitive eyes anyway. So I like these because I haven't seen any kind of a warning with them. But the ones that I was wearing the most, Sugarcane, there's no way I'm gonna be able to show this to you, but just know it's really pretty. Sugarcane is kind of like a, I don't know, antique old gold sort of a color. Love that one. And then this one is Marshmallow and it's just a really pretty like kind of white sort of a glitter, but then it has like multicolored things happening too. So it's kind of like white and rainbow glitter together. These are really nice. I do love their little like liquid sugar stuff. So I will use the Too Faced Glitter Glue and then this as well. So kind of the combination of those two and these, those two sticky things and these work really well. And I didn't notice the glitters like falling all over my face or anything. I just think they're awesome and they're affordable too and sometimes they go on sales which makes them even more affordable. I think they're great. And then also my eyes have been reaching for my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette again. I just love this palette. I think it is such nice quality. And you know the colors I've been reaching for most lately have been the cooler tone colors. So like today I have this one on in my crease and then I have a little bit of this in my outer corner and then on my lid I'm wearing this L'Oreal shadow. I've already mentioned this to you. This is the Color Riche. What is my hand doing? I don't even know because I've swatched two here. So we have a claw situation. Anyway, this is the L'Oreal Color Riche eyeshadow in Violet Butte. Violet Butte. Just a really, pretty, I can't get over my hand. Um, it's just a really pretty kind of plummy. Well, you see it on my eyelids. It's like a plummy pretty smoky shadow. I really do like it. So I've got this on in my crease, that color um, in my outer corner, and then a little bit of the black over my liner. I mean, these are like no joke pigmented, like no joke. Look at that. Look at that black. Oh my gosh. And these just like blend like a dream. They wear really well on the eyes. They're just kind of like never fail you sort of shadows. Love them. That black doesn't look impressive right there. It's over my knuckles. Uh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> that looks so bad. Hang on. I got to give this a better, a better go. Where can I swatch this? There. On that part of my hand, it looks much better. <laughs> you need this shadow. You really do. No, it looks much better right there. But they're just great shadows. They blend really well. They wear really well. Works really well alone, but it's also a great companion palette. For blush, I've been wearing a bunch of different things and trying out a lot of different things. But I'd have to say that this is really the standout favorite for me. And honestly, kind of like a surprising favorite to me. This is new from Wet n Wild, or at least I think this is new. I know that they reformulated the Color Icon blushes, but I don't remember this color from before. This is Rose Champagne. So 
If it was around before, I didn't know about it, so I guess it's new to me at least. But this is Rose Champagne. I am going to have a what's new from Wet n Wild type of a video coming up soon, so you can watch for that. But when I got this one, I didn't know about it because I really wasn't sure what it was. Like, I couldn't tell, like, is this a highlighter? Is this a blush? Like, what is this? But once I got it and tried it, it really is just a beautiful, light, neutral, go with everything blush. Isn't that pretty? It's very subtle. It's nude, but then it has a little bit of pink, but then it has a little bit of peach in it. It can be built up. Like, I did, like, I don't know, a few little passes there with that. But then you can add even more, and it makes it even more pigmented. So, I mean, you really can get some good color from it, but it is just that everyday, easy, go with everything blush color, like a Benefit Rock Couture, just a no brainer, good blush. I love it. And I'm really impressed with the texture of it and the formula. It blends really nicely onto the skin. It's worn really well. It's like $3. I'm super impressed with it. I just love this color and it's a really nice formula. It's so good. And then per usual, I have a lot of lip favorites. I've really been loving this ColourPop Lippy Stick. This is semi new to me. This is in the shade Bear Hug. B-E-H-R Hug, and it's a cream finish. This is just a really pretty classic red, but it's kind of like a bright statement red. I don't know. I mean, most reds are kind of a statement red, but this one's like, I feel like it has kind of a punch to it or something. Do you see it? Or am I just making that up? I don't know. It just, do you see how like creamy and pigmented? That is, it is so opaque. Like there's no dragging, there's no trying to make it even. It's just really, really pretty. These can do no wrong. I don't know, I feel like I think about them a lot. I look up swatches. I'm always like thinking about the next color that I'd like to add to my wish list. I don't know. I didn't need another red lipstick, but this is beautiful and it's $5 and it's really nice quality. So if you're looking for a really good classic red lip, this is a great option, Bear Hug. And this is also semi-new to me. This is the Too Faced Melted Chocolate. And this is in the shade Metallic Frozen Hot Chocolate. I really like this. First off, the scent of it is really yummy. It reminds me, okay, here's a story time. I used to make chocolate cake, like just boxed chocolate cake with my Mimi all the time. Like she and I would bake together and, you know, make different things. She wasn't actually my grandma. She was just a lady that lived two houses from us. She was like my grandma. I was super close to her. But anyway, she and I would bake and make different things. So we made chocolate cake all the time. Just boxed, wasn't anything special, but the cake batter smelled exactly like this. So it's very like nostalgic for me and just makes me think of chocolate cake and Mimi. And so I love the scent of it. It's not like a like a chocolate bar scent, it's really like the mix. Like, once you get it all mixed and whatever. Anyway, love the scent of it. So this shade is kind of like just a, I don't know, like a neutral, cool toned brown, and then it's got like a metallic sort of a sheen to it. Isn't that pretty? I like it, and that's built up. Like, you can do like just kind of a thin layer and kind of have it more just easy. So I kept throwing this into my purse. So when I would do even like a lip like this, like some kind of a brown liquid lipstick or something, and it would start to maybe wear away or, or something, I would grab this and then I could just apply it over the top and it was kind of like an easy, no brainer kind of a lip product. But I just love it. I love that color. I think it's really, really pretty. I would maybe like another one or two of these. I just love the smell. Like that's really one thing I love about it the most. Yeah, it's just very, it's, it's memories. You know, scent is like so attached to your memories and this brings up really good memories. And then I've really been enjoying my NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams recently and these are two standouts for me. First off is Copenhagen. This is one that's been around in their permanent line for a while, but it's a really pretty, like kind of plummy, berry wine color. Oh my gosh really just a wine like you could just say it's a wine but it is so gorgeous and this is one that took me a little bit to get my hands on because every time I was in Ulta it was always sold out I would go check for it and it was always gone so it seems like everybody loves Copenhagen which I can see why because it's just 
a really beautiful shade. And it's one of those kind of like vampy colors that's not crazy vampy, so, you know, I don't know. It's not quite like a dark, dark plum, so really pretty shade. And I love the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams because I feel like they're almost like a liquid lipstick's cousin where, I don't know, I feel like liquid lipsticks are either there or they're not. So you get those like weird lines and things and they're just like one extreme or the other. Whereas I feel like these look a lot like a liquid lipstick. They stick around for a good amount of time, but then when they do start to wear away, they kind of wear away more like a regular lipstick. So I just feel like they're a little bit more forgiving and not like one extreme or the other like a liquid lipstick is because that's what I don't like about those is that they are so extreme and you get the weird lines and things like that. So that's why I really do like these and that's why I like the Ofra ones because I feel like the Ofra ones are a liquid lipstick but they're more forgiving in that area than most of them. So yeah, this is like the liquid lipsticks cousin. And I really like the formula of these. And then the other one, which is the one that I'm wearing right now, is in Rome. This is one of their new shades, and I do have an Instagram picture of all their new shades swatched. And then I'm gonna have a lip swatch party video of the shades that I picked up coming soon. So yeah, you can check out that Instagram picture and watch for that video. But this one, Rome, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. It's very 90s, it's kind of like that brown that's a little bit terracotta but then a little bit rose also it's beautiful it's really opaque it's easy to work with i feel like this one just wears really well it's very forgiving Ooh, i love this color if you're looking if you're into those like 90s colors which i definitely am and i've been into them for a while now i think that you would love this shade they really have some fun ones in the new colors like fun as in like 90s. They have a lot of 90s. Then they have like a purple. They have a blue. Um, they have like a dark red. They have a really dark plum. There's just some good ones. Check it out. Check out my Instagram picture and watch for that video. And I didn't have any standout foolies, just all things that I was loving. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you have been loving recently or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.